This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're two days out. Kel Brook is the favourite heading into this fight against Amir Khan. Uh, what do you think about that, Kel? Well, bookies don't normally get it wrong, do they? Bookies don't normally get it wrong. But listen, I'm not reading too much into that. You know, at the end of the day, it's me and him. It's been talked about a long time. Long time. There's a lot at stake, bragging rights. All the best is in Britain, and it means it means everything to me. This, you know, I've wanted this fight a long time, and we're days away now, and I am buzzing. I know because I'm happy that I know that I've done absolutely everything I possibly could be do to be in the best mental, physical place for this fight. Kel, this is the last bit of the talking, so I'm going to get you to go back to the gloves are off, where a lot of people thought. He got one over you in there. Um, you seemed edgy. That's what people were saying. Did you feel like that coming away from the gloves are off? Did you have that feeling? You know, to be honest with you, I thought it were a bit edgy, but it, it, it sells the fight. You know, it gets people, even though I didn't, I didn't really need to go off. Like, I think that, you know, I think that going in there, I think some something happened with one of uh, some part, some party what I'll come down with Khan and I were just rattled up. You know, you know, it rattled up before the before we went into the gloves are off. You know, so in the end of the day, it's talks, talk, talk is talk. You know, and it's it's well evident that me and him don't like each other. So we're going to see a thriller Saturday. You know, what else can I say? You know, there are, what like what else can I say? That you were saying to me that did I regret? You know, he got he got the better of me and the gloves are off as in. You know, he were cool and I were more. You know, going over. It is what it is. In the end of the day. That's how much passion I've raised. I want to, I'm just so happy that I can be vocal because whenever I've gone off like that before, because how much passion I want to want in this fight, he's always ran away from it. So, you know, we're here now. It's done. And in today's talking, there we saw something about you sharing a room with Amir once. What was that about? No, there were me, Brian Rose, Brian Rose, uh, Amir Khan, and I think another fighter. And because we, we got uh, called up to go down to the England squad, so we're all you know sharing sharing a room. Down in, when we when we was to box for the England team, you know. So him saying when we're 18, 19 year old, like when people say, what, "Would you fight Kel Brook?" and he's saying, "Who's Kel Brook? I don't know who Kel Brook is." And like he didn't like he reckons that he didn't know who I was. We shared, you know, we shared a room together, like I said, and and, it, and, we, and we, he knew exactly who we were. We had the same promoter. We, he knew who we were, but he would just he's never given me that respect. That's what that's what really, you know, gets to me that he's never he's never given me. me until now, he's saying that you know he has given, he gave me that respect, but he hasn't given no respect to me, and and that's it. He had a big point to make today, and I've known you for a while. And I know your character. I just want you to clear this up. He made a reference to you saying once he had a popper domchin. So I just want you to clear that bit up. Yeah. So he's obviously he's obviously pulling the art, going down a racial sp spray with me. You know, it didn't mean anything by it. You know, you you be you know who I am. You you've seen it around me. We are mere calm. We, we look. The, you know what I mean. There's a lot of Asian characters in my gym. All I meant by using the word papadam is how how easy a papadam is to break, and I'm just referring it to his chin. You know. So he's going down. He's going down the line of trying to get. He's trying to get the people to be against me. But listen, there's not. I'm not racist at all, mate. Look at, look at colour of my skin, mate. Bomac said today that after four rounds you'll be done. Are you surprised by hearing that? And is he giving away a game plan there? Yeah, he got rattled. He got rattled up there, and I think that he, you know, he's saying that I'm good for three or four rounds. It, it's, it's so wrong, you know. But the talk, the talking's over really now, and it's time to. You're gonna see if I'm good after four, aren't you? Last question. No weight issues, and also give me a final prediction live on Sky Sports box office against Amir Khan. You know, there's, there's no weight issues. You know, I've been good for weight for, for weeks. And listen, um, listen, I am gonna get, I'm going in there to knock him out. I'm going in there to put a show on. I'm not going over him there to, I'm not playing games. I'm going in there to, to hurt him and get rid of him. That's what, I, that's, what, that's what I'm going to do. Kel Brook, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. We wish you the best of luck this Saturday night, all right? Cheers, mate.